Happy Martin Luther King Day, everybody. It's one of my favorite American stories. It's the story of, well, let's see, how the FBI can assassinate one of the great black leaders of America right after the CIA just assassinated one of the favorite presidents of America. And then they give you your national holiday afterwards and everybody portrays you're a hero and mainly only focuses on your racial message and forgets the fact that you were actually assassinated at a strike for sanitation workers in Memphis in the class struggle. But if I had to guess, the reason they knocked him off was because of the class politics angle. Uh, his wife, right afterwards, Coretta, did uh, the March on Washington for uh, the Poor People's Campaign, I believe it was called, which uh, Reverend Barber has taken up afterwards in the struggle. That was the original name for the march, the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. Jobs and Freedom. And there were many communists in uh, Martin Luther King's circle. Um, it was hard to find a black political leader that wasn't somewhat associated with the Communist Party because the first uh, black candidate uh, that was ran for vice president was on the Communist Party ticket in, I believe, 1936 with uh, William Z. Foster, somewhere in there. Anyway, so I do find it interesting that uh, they gave him his own national holiday. He also has a 113 page dossier on the FBI's website, including a table of contents. And I'm gonna hope this will keep recording because I'm gonna flip over to that table of contents. So for anyone who's ever interested in trying to do something similar, <laughs> it will not keep recording. As soon as you exit out of this recording app, everything's gone. So we'll just do this off memory. And uh, if I get something wrong, I'll fix it in the comments. But yeah, 113 page paper. <laughs> the last walk and talk I did like this was about Julian Assange. And I always tell my students, everyone who's ever cool gets an FBI file. <laughs> the FBI file isn't there to catch criminals. Usually they just set up like poor Islamic, that's what they've done for the past 20 years. They set up poor Islamic kids, you know, to like, hey, if you do this, thing i'll go on a date with you turns out that girl is an fbi agent boo, 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 boo. give us more money to support terrorism prevention like we're doing right here and that's what they're doing lately the fbi is the gestapo they are the domestic police that's why they raid the president's house after he's out of office it's not for you it's a political police force they started with malcolm x we can't have a uh a powerful black leader ranting like that. Then they did JFK. See, so you wanted to pull out of Vietnam and make peace with the Soviets, the Cubans. Uh, and then they did his brother, because he was going to dig into what actually happened. Uh, and then they did Martin. Martin was getting a little too powerful. And he was starting to do all that, uh, you know, just because I can set at a lunch counter in the South don't mean nothing if I can't buy a hamburger. You know, if I don't have the money to do so. He started talking about money, <laughs> right? And talking about the war in Vietnam. If you've never seen his war in Vietnam speech, go watch it. It's a barn burner. He said, why am I going to go blow apart little brown kids over there when you don't even take care of the little brown kids over here? Good point, Martin. But a lot of liberals lost uh, their support for Martin during that. History doesn't remember it that way, but that's what actually happened. Anytime you stand up against the uh, deep state or these forces of evil in the American government, the American people are good. The American government, at least the deep state elements in it, not so good. Okay? I like to think there's good in everybody, but... You can't just let a mad dog run around town eating three-year-olds. <laughs> if you're a man, you got to stand up and stop this mad dog before he gets everybody rabied. Rabid? I don't know, whatever. 
But there's another one you should look up, and I was going to flip over and read this in its totality, but I can't do that anymore. There was a 1999 civil case. Um, I think it was King Family versus Jowers. And uh, I believe it was Malcolm's son or daughter. He said uh, they just wanted 100 bucks in payment, just symbolically, to show that they didn't believe the official story. Was it James Earl Ray? Was that his name? His son had this quote. He's like, all I wanted out of this was for the public to know that I don't believe James Earl Ray shot my dad. The U.S. government assassinated him. Now, why isn't that talked about on NBC, CBS? <laughs> you know, now I didn't get the quote exactly right. But if you read it, it's pretty much to that effect. Martin Luther King Day, everybody. We knock him off, then we give him his own national holiday. I always like to uh, add one more line to that Gandhi quote. You know that Gandhi quote where he says, uh, what is it? First they ignore you. Then they laugh at you. Then they fight you. Then you win. I like to add, then they dedicate a national holiday to you. And if you're really good, they build a religion around you. <laughs> Those are the other parts of that one. So yeah, Martin. Uh, after Martin, I forgot to tell you, Fred Hampton was the last of the five. Those are always the ones. If you wonder why America is the way it is, well, our ultra elite bourgeois ruling class killed all of our leaders they killed anyone that would stand up and try to fix it they killed the american gandhi they killed the american che they killed the american mao they killed the american lenin they killed the american chavez they killed him they killed malcolm x they killed jfk they killed rfk they killed mlk and then they killed Fred Hampton. Go watch some videos of Fred Hampton if you've never seen Fred Hampton. They would have killed Stokely Carmichael, Kwame Ture as well if he hadn't fled to Africa. You should watch his speech on the CIA, listening to everything he ever had to say. Created the Black Panthers with UEP Newton. Stokely Carmichael. Okay. Fred, they shot him, I don't know how many times they shot him. The entire uh, side of the wall was riddled with bullet holes. They made sure to kill him. They drugged him first. And his mom won millions out of that suit. Because that was not handled well. I mean, in court, she won. The Chicago Police Department did it. With the help of the FBI. Sure, Fred has a juicy file, too. You know who else has a juicy FBI file? Albert Einstein. Read that one. I'm telling you. I don't wish death on Bob Dylan because we need to get as many good songs out of you and God in between now and then, Bob. But your FBI file is going to be juicy as well when you pass. You're going to have a heck of a one, brother. It's probably going to show pretty true why you quit making political songs all the time. Because <laughs> the writing was on the wall in the late 60s, Bob. Anyway. Yeah. Now, the part about Martin, I'll tell you. I had a vision once. A vision about what the purpose of life, at least for me, is. I think it probably is for you, too. But at least for me. And in this vision, here's what I saw. I saw Martin shot on the balcony. I saw Gandhi shot in the crowd. I saw Jesus nailed to the cross. And a voice deep in my soul told me, that is the purpose of your life. The purpose of your life is to sacrifice your physical life to raise the spiritual consciousness of the human species to help humanity 
evolve spiritually. And that's yours too. If you wonder why the world is in such a rotten state, you know it's because nobody does anything. Nobody feels like they can do anything. That's not true. Just a handful of people. Just a handful of people with Martin Luther King type dedication, with John Brown type dedication, with Fred Hampton type dedication, with Mahatma Gandhi type dedication, with Jesus Christ type dedication, could change this country in a year. Absolutely, are some of you gonna die in the process? Absolutely, you will. That's not the purpose of life. The spiritual and the physical are one. The spiritual and the political are one. Martin knew it, and you should too. So today, remember Martin's purpose. I remember that it's mine, and I want you to remember that it's yours. Live for something bigger than yourself. I love y'all. I'll see you next time, hopefully with the lapel mic that works. Just, I couldn't get it working today. And uh, I'll bring you more bike trail walk and talks. Got to get those watch hours up and for a good cause. All right. I love y'all. Peace out. Oh, and P.S. If you want to help me out, you can help me out at uh, buymeacoffee.com forward slash Tyler McConnell. It's my personal favorite. Also, I have Patreon forward slash Tyler McConnell, TylerMcConnell.locals.com. And there should be a PayPal link now, too. So I figured all that out. If you don't want to help me at all, I totally understand, especially in 2023, the way the economy is looking. But you should join uh, CPI USA. That's the political organization I'm a part of, uh, the Center for Political Innovation. We actually put boots on the ground, touch grass, as they say, which is a gross phrase, but I think it is important. And uh, put on political conferences and encourage people to get off your butt and choose courage over fear and actually try to change this country for the better. So once again, I love y'all. Check out CPI if nothing else. Peace.